Okay, so now you can see that using like an epoxy putty, which you rub together in your hands, how I've been in, started to build up the floor of the floor, the floor of the port. Sorry, I find this the easiest way to do it rather than going straight in with the JB Weld. As long as the bottom of the port's keyed up, this stuff sticks just as well. Obviously, gives you a better, you know, you can kind of make two long sausages and stick it in there and mold in with your fingers and move it around. And then what I do is using the JB Weld start to build up the floor of the port. Now I am going to do some drawings of this to kind of help you visualize what I'm trying to do here and what the final port shape will be. So this really is kind of like where we're at now. So we've got the epoxy putty which is on the bottom of the port. And then over the top of that and up the two port sides as you can see, the sides of the port, we start adding the JB weld. And this kind of just seals it over and kind of we really get working towards the shape we're looking to achieve then. So essentially if you look down the port now you can see how once upon a time you could see the the valve throats clearly and now they're kind of made into a D shape and a D shape flows the most air. So a D shape a D shaped port will always flow the most air. Or well, nearly always. Unless it's a turbocharge application then probably wouldn't matter if your port was shaped like a fifty pence. So you can see what we're doing. So there we go. That's the two part putty you just squeeze between your hands and make into a two sausages and squeeze it in there. Roughly shape it with the Dremel. And then we're starting to add the JB Weld. Don't worry about how rough it looks now. You'll soon smooth it out. So once we've got this done, I'll do another video of where we're at and when we flip the head over to do the valve throats. Cheers. <laughs>